Hello everybody, my name is Chris. I'm in a car, it's Car Chat with Chris. CCT Dub? <laughs> car, car Chat, CCWC. <laughs> Anyways, welcome. We are doing a little car chat, driving my way to Dutch Bros. This is gonna be kind of crazy because I think the Dutch Bros employees are gonna freak out a little bit because Amanda wants a different drink. She just ordered the same drink for months and today she's like, I'm going different. So it's gonna be crazy. By the way, I got my Gelatoni shirt on, little Gelatoni, and we are on our way to Dutch Bros. And uh, the mountains look beautiful today. Just let you guys know, they look absolutely gorgeous. I, the light is red up here. I'm gonna drive fast the red light so I can turn this camera around so you guys can see these mountains. Hang on. Oh, no, never mind. just kidding. The light just changed and we are now green. But there's cloud level lower and the mountaintops are peeking through and it looks just great. I gotta find a way to show this to you because this looks so good. Anyways, um, gonna go get Amanda a new drink. You know, I was talking about my insurance issues. So like, mm, I, it is so frustrating to me. I've been on the phone with insurance trying to work these things out with miles, insurance bills, and insurance. I feel like sometimes it's just a scam. I don't. I don't even want to get to numbers. I. I don't. Know. I'm like. I'm trying to censor myself. I'm like, what do I say? I'm like, just so upset with it. And so, okay, hang on a second. Hang on. I, I had a red light. Oh, it's green. But look at that. Look at those mountains. Look at that mountain, guys. That cloud layer looks good today, doesn't it? All right. Looks doesn't look good. I, it looks. I, I love it when the clouds, the mountains are so tall that the clouds actually can't get over the mountain. That's why Utah gets really good snow. So what happens is the uh, California, the water evaporates. It goes across Nevada, super hot, right? Elevates the the water even higher. And then when it comes into the Utah Valley, it's not high enough though that, that moisture butts up against the mountain and it hits it, it just goes kunk, and then it just dumps it. That's why the snow is so fluffy. It's, and Utah has very fluffy snow. So anyways, okay. Hey guys, I'm gonna have to shut off the camera here for a second because Amanda texted me this new order and I don't have the order memorized and it's on the phone and I'm recording on it. So I'm gonna have to shut the down and uh, see if I could let's see if I could find a pen maybe to write down or maybe I'll just wait until they get here I'll just shut it down at that point anyways yeah frustrations with the insurance company just I pay them every month right self-employed I pay them every month and then we have this uh, catastrophe and they're saying that it's out of service and it doesn't the deductible isn't covered and all these reasons and so I had to pay more money on top of that. And I even told the lady, I, said, I was just very calm on the phone. I said, just to be clear, if I didn't have insurance and every month what I paid you, if I just would have put into my savings, then when this emergency happened, I would have had more than enough money to pay off this bill, but I can't pay that off right now because, oh, it's just so frustrating. You know, it's like, and, and I said, so you need more money and she's like, well, yeah. She's like, you know, it's this is how insurance works. I'm like, no, no, no. I said, I know how insurance works. I said, I used to do this. I said, it's just, it's for you guys to make money, not to ease burdens. Let's be clear. So, all right. Okay, hang on. They're coming up here to take orders. So, normally I, turn, I have to return this off for a second. Do you want me to pull forward with you? Yeah. Just a second. All right. Okay, I just ordered Amanda, so now back. Okay, let's do an original... Let's do white coffee Reese's mocha soft top. What size? Medium iced. Perfect. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> I haven't done this one in a long time. Let's do the, they call it the dirty horchata. Okay. Uh, the chai brevet with one shot. Perfect. The medium iced still? Yeah, medium iced. Okay. The G special. Okay. All right, so I, I switched mine up. So I, I, I got what this is, as they call it a dirty horchata. 
I don't know if it's on the menu because this they gave this to me, so maybe that's just what they call it themselves. So if you just if you go up to Dutch Bros and you order a dirty horchata, they might not know what you're talking about, or they might. I'm not sure if it's on the menu or not. It's um, it's not on the menu, but I don't know if it's ordered enough that people understand what it is. It's a chai tea with one shot of espresso. You can do two shots, but that's that's insane. It's crazy. I mean, I don't know. People do that. I'm very. I get super, I'm super affected by caffeine anyways. And so I try not to, I, I, I can never imagine really doing more. I was like, that seems like a lot. So it's just this chai, this chai tea. Now chai tea, I, 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 growing up, I didn't drink tea unless I got sick. If I was sick, then my mom would make me what was, it was called this herbal tea, like this herbal tea. And you would drink it like it was hot and you drink it kind of always tastes to me like grass or dandelions. I don't know, just like this herbal tea, right? So I started coming to Dutch Bros. A lot of times the uh, employees would tell me, like, have you tried chai tea? Try chai tea. And I was, by the way, have, you, have any of you guys seen that Spider-Man across the universe, the animated, the second, the second Spider-Man across the universe animated film where they're talking about chai tea and the guy's like, chai is tea. You're basically saying tea tea, but it's still, Americans would call it chai tea. <laughs> so tea tea. Anyways, um, they're, they're always were telling me to try chai. And I was just like, I could not get the visualization of tea out of my mind. I pictured like, I don't know. I, I don't even really know tea. Like was Earl Grey black tea, like in a bag. And they just steep dipping it in water. And then you're drinking this. And I just, oh, I just, that's not my, that's not my jam. Right. I don't like it. So I guess like maybe I, I don't know, maybe I'm not open-minded enough about tea. I don't really know, but I just, I just doesn't, I don't like it. So whenever they would say chai, try a chai, I would visualize that. The tea, like a little tea cozy, you know, a little thing in there and pouring it and not minding me of being sick as a kid. But the one, finally they're like, it's not like that. And so I, I tried it and it's not, it's not, uh, it is awesome. So it is amazing. For those of you who want to just drink herbal tea, you can drink chai tea and, and enjoy it. And it's just like a milky, but it doesn't taste like tea. So I don't know why they call it chai. It doesn't taste like tea, like what I, what I associate the flavor of tea to be like. It's just this delightful drink. And so they're very good. They're very, very good. And uh, the, the chai tea, is just it's they're really good they have one if you don't if you want to know if you want to if you want to try one but you're not sure if you're gonna like it come to dutch brothers and order what's called a christmas morning that's a chai drink and they put cinnamon on the top of it and i think a little soft top and it tastes like christmas morning in a cup like it tastes exactly like what like you know like on Jan uh, december 23rd right before christmas eve and you got all the smells in the house because people are cooking and all that goodness that's what christmas morning tastes like it's a chai drink i got it for my mom she loves it i anybody who's actually tried it has everybody has said that it's um awesome so anyways um i'm gonna get one they call it a dirty horchata it's a chai with a little bit of an espresso we'll see how it goes we'll, i haven't had it in forever so mixing oh my goodness mixing it up mixing it up guys trying to trying to mix it up this is a weekend I'm excited about the weekend uh miles and i have been watching an old disney movie on disney plus and uh at first he didn't like it now he loves it called bed knobs and broomsticks and i have i remember watching that as a kid myself and uh it's you know it's, it's quite good it, it's you know they she's a, an apprentice witch she ends up taking three like orphans under her care and there's a guy who's selling her she's taking like this correspondence course for witchcraft but it's just that the guy who's doing it is just basically kind of a fraud but he doesn't realize that the spells he's sending to her are real spells and she's actually learning how to do it and she does a spell on the bed and allows the bed to travel around and so they travel around and they go under the ocean and then they, they go to uh, this island that's only inhabited by um, animals. And the animation style is really reminiscent. 
of like Robin Hood, of, you know, the Robin Hood film. Uh, it's like that animation style. The the uh, the animals look like that. They, they their voice acting is it's not as strong as 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 it always is for other things. So, but it's still good. And at the end, the Nazis come to invade, and we got right there, and we're gonna finish it tonight. But I know I remember what happened. She enchants the museum, and the, they all go fight the Nazis. So. They're on hold. Hi, how's it going? What is, what are you doing? You know, just playing my crew to label their drinks because I can't remind you. <laughs> you gotta label the drinks? That's yeah. what the three digit numbers are, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If there's ever ever like a 401 on your drink, it's so that we match it to the car. To the car. Yeah. Just our like way of knowing. Knowing. Yeah. So what was my number today? Um, 471. 47, yeah. 471. I like that. that sounds like a I've power number. In a while. It's been a long time. What yeah. have you been up to? Nothing, nothing much. My school started back up, so I'm in school again. What do you? Where? Where? Just like right now. Okay. Yeah. But what are you I studying? It'll be my last semester there, I think. Are you serious? I summer, which I might take a summer class just to knock out a credit if I still can. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be my last semester there. So. And then you're done? Yeah. Yeah. And then I move on to university to get my bachelor's. Good. Um, Good for you. Yeah. So that's what's happening right now in my life. Good. Um, uh, uh, what time do your classes start? Um, my first class is at 10 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then my second class is on also Tuesdays and Thursdays and starts at 1. Wow, all right. And I'm taking two online. Also. Are you? Yeah. And working. Yeah. And Rockstar. Working. Yeah, and working. Right. Is your sister going to school too? Yeah. yeah. Same classes? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm also just taking the same classes as her. Are you so, serious? Yeah. Good grief. Yeah. I feel like it's just easier to like coordinate schools. Yeah. So yeah. like, I might as well. You know? Might as well do if it. I can, I will. So, I love it, I love yeah, it. I, mean, I love it. There's like plenty of seats in the classes, so we just put them together. Absolutely, it's like, awesome. Might as well. So Amanda shook it up today. She got something she's never got before. Yeah, I was, I was seeing. It's like an oat milk sugar-free caramel latte and then an extra shot chai. Is that what you got? Wait a minute. Wait. The the chai is mine. Okay. Chai, the it's a dirty ochata, I think they call it. The chai has got mine. has got one shot in it. Amanda's is like an oat. I think they probably made, put it in wrong. Did they really? Yeah. <laughs> was it an Americano? No, let's see here. Hold on. All right. Okay. Okay. Where, where, where have you been doing? Like what? Uh, oh, I was in Florida for a while. I got back. I was on a cruise ship in Florida. I'll be heading to California in a little bit, and uh, you know, just doing what I do. Oh. You I just, wonder. You just do a lot of traveling. Tons of travel. Yeah. I wonder if she's gonna like it. I think she will. The oat milk is pretty forgiving. Is it? I taste a lot of the coffee. It looks like oat milk. You I do? Usually drink oat milk. Yeah. People seem to tell me the oat milk. Yeah. It just seems kind of gross yeah, to me. I'm I don't know. Are you really? Yeah. And a chai is really good. I like it to chai the best, but in a latte it's also really Okay. Good. So if somebody wanted to order that, because I'm making a video right now to tell people how to order, yeah. they would order just a dirty chai. Yeah. And then dirty I would chai. ask how many shots. Because some people like like two, three. I would say one. Whoa. Get yeah. out of here. I like one. I do I one. Put, I put just one in my drink because I like a dirty chai. But yeah. I'll put like flavor in it sometimes. Um, but yeah. You, do, you add flavor to it? I like white chocolate cinnamon. I like white chocolate pumpkin when we have it. But yeah. How come you've never given these? Really good. What is? Yeah, lavender. When we have it. It's Why haven't you given these drinks to me before? I don't know. Sometimes I just like blank out when like people ask me what my favorite drink is. Because I really have to like think and like marinate. I also don't like, I'm a rebel drinker. So like. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I know. It really terrible. is. I'm so ashamed of it. I need to stop. You know, in my nutrition class, because I'm taking nutrition. Yeah. Um, I like found out how much sugar was in. Um, how are I found you? Out how much sugar was in a rebel, and it was like way. Too yeah, much. they're out of control. I'm like gonna explode and like. Can you get one straw? Yeah, for sure. I don't have any one straw. I've been good. How are you doing? Again. Yeah. I'm sorry, just open the package. Oh, open a new package. Yeah. Gotta break out a brand new one. Awesome. Okay, see ya. Bye. Hope you later. Bye, guys. Okay, got my drink. This is, I guess, so now I know you can order, you order, it's called a dirty chai. So just go up, order a dirty chai, and apparently you can have flavors to it, which I should have done. And she was recommending like white chocolate, um, 
lavender. They don't have lavender right now. And then like a pumpkin something drizzle during the holiday. I don't know. I haven't had, I haven't had this in forever. Okay. I don't love it. Maybe that's why I, maybe that's why I haven't ordered it in a long time. It's not bad. It's, um, I would rank this. Uh, let me think about this. Okay. I can taste this, the espresso shot very heavily. Like that's, that's the only flavor you get is like, bam. And I don't particularly like that as much. And the, the, the wonderfulness of the chai is overpowered by that one shot of Nespresso, so, or Nespresso. So I, I feel like I kind of lost out on the chai flavor. But yeah, so it's called a dirty chai. You can try it. It's a lighter drink. This is, if you don't want to get, if you don't want the coffee aspect of it, just order chai. And I think that would have been smarter. Ah, darn it. I always want to get my favorite, like a drink. This is a, I mean, oh, it's okay. But when you get a good drink at Dutch Bros, it just, you're like, it feels like the billion dollars. And now I'm already in a bad mood anyways, because I've been on the phone all morning with insurance companies battling them. So I wanted one, like a little kicker. I should have got the Reese's Pieces. <laughs> hey, every day can't be a winner. It's not bad. It's not bad. But, and I'll have to let you know about what Amanda thinks of her new drink because she's trying something completely. Amanda is like, when it comes to her drinks, she likes it plain Jane. Like, plain as can be. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for hanging out with me, and uh, uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.